Guiding light. I thought you said that poison would work. Absolutely. I know Spalding ate that poison steak last night. <coughs> and he will die. A long, lingering, painful death, as you requested. No hitches? None at all. <laughs> I guarantee the doctors will diagnose botulism from then on. Your man's on a one-way trip. With no return ticket. For West, may I help you? Uh, this is Cedar's Pharmacy calling. We want to make sure that you received a prescription for a patient, Philip Spalding. Yes, I gave it to him when he checked out. Excellent. Thank you, nurse. Thank you. Mr. Spalding was glad to get it. But we were happy to give it to him. Goodbye. You don't You keep your mind on So did Spalding get the pills? And you're sure they're going to do the trick? Every pill he takes will make him sicker and sicker. And it's only a matter of time until Spalding kills himself. <laughs> I love a happy ending. That's why I got into this business. You said every pill that Spalding takes will make him sicker and sicker? That's right. I, I don't get it. Spalding's prescription is a legitimate drug. How's it gonna kill him if it's supposed to make him better? That's the beauty of the whole setup. You injected Spalding's steak with a genetically laced poison, courtesy of yours truly, that simulates the symptoms of botulism. So? So, the doctors were fooled just like I said they would be. They prescribed the standard medicine to cure botulism. Right, the prescription that Spalding took home with him. Right. Only Spalding doesn't have botulism. He's got himself a case of designer poison. So the pills that Spalding takes, they'll react with the poison. And kill him. Slowly and painfully. Just like you wanted. <laughs> How long does this, uh, miracle cure take? A while. When he takes the first few pills, he'll seem to be doing okay. But after that, it's downhill all the way. Just like magic. We gotta get rid of those cops. <laughs> you said there wouldn't be any more killings. What the hell do you think I've been trying to do with Philip Spaulding? Get up a game of jacks. Oh, 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 okay, 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 look, look. I know I owe you one for the poison not working out like we hope, but please don't make me part of killing innocent people. Why don't you just try shutting up? Who the hell is this? I don't know, but I caught him trying to get away in his car. And get this, I found an extensive collection of hardware in his trunk. Hey, you have no right to detain me. Now, this is not I no think, probable I cause. This, I want to have a little discussion with our friend. Hey, I'm going to talk to my lawyer. I know my rights. You know what? I'm one of those cops you read about. It's the kind that doesn't remember those rules. Hey, you get your hands off me. Hey, turn around. What is this, huh? What is this? What kind of work are you in, anyway? Listen, I've got a friend on board a plane with a professional killer who I think you know. And I think you're gonna help me get my friend off. I can't. 
I will hurt you, and I will hurt you back. Oh, okay, 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 look, look. I'll tell you the truth, all right? Hey, there's nothing you can do about that guy, man. He's crazy. It's like, it's like it's not even a job anymore. You know, after the poison didn't work out, you went totally nuts. You know about the poison. <laughs> Yeah, I don't believe those doctors figured that out, man. That was some of my best stuff. <laughs> All right, get him out of here. He's making me sick. Book him on attempt to come on. Let's go. Come on, let's go. He was actually proud of trying to kill Philip. Alan, let's